then hanging up on me. Right, but I'll what he wants, I'll what send, he wants... I'll send, I'll send him a message. I think <laughs> if some of our listeners would phone in, then we'd know the system was working and, and Chris would be suitably appreciative and probably play your request. He Assuming would. we can find it. Um, yeah. Um, I've done something to the desk. Oh, shall I talk for a little bit, Chris? Uh, yeah. While you sort out the desk? Yeah. Because, um, I've realised what flipped radio is. Have you? Well, I think I've got a working definition we could try out and see if it makes any sense. Because the flipped classroom, everybody watches the videos at home for the content and then talk about it during the daytime. So I think a flipped radio show is that there are good bits in the radio show which are on YouTube and the audience goes away and finds them from a previous show while in the studio it's a little bit disorganised and people are talking at random in the sort of way they probably would on a bulletin board surrounding a show. So the show itself has become just a bit stretched out and pause-ridden and not quite sure where it's going, whereas the audience has found some good bits somewhere else. How's that? Do you think that's a reasonable idea of what flip radio would be? Yeah, yeah I do. I've broken the desk. You've broken the desk? Oh, no. <laughs> Chris, already... how can you do that? I don't know. There's nothing coming out of my headphones. Really? Uh, oh, uh... Um, oh well, JD's going to come over now and have a look and see if it's the, the same. Um, maybe if you could put the speakers on the studio and we'd know if anything was going. The CD players the are still there. The speakers are going. So, no, there might be something a little bit later. Uh, there was a hiss then. Okay, well, while we solved that. Thank mm-hmm. you.